guys, welcome to today's crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool crocheted sweater plus a bonus on how to make some crocheted sleeves and a crocheted top that is literally this exact same pattern just tweaked a tiny little bit. And you get virtually three patterns in one. Also subscribe if you want to see a part two to this because I have an idea of how to make some meshy sweaters, some meshy dresses, some dresses with this exact same pattern. So if you're interested in that and if you're interested in any other crochet tutorials that I have, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for all your support. You guys are amazing. I'm going to show you first how to make the sweater because I think that once you know how to make the sweater, you can easily make the other two. Also another thing that I wanted to show you guys. Look, I made this for my three-year-old daughter doing this exact same pattern, but mini form. Isn't it cute? I cannot believe how cute this turned out. I'm going to show you guys um, some videos or photos of her in this because it fits her like a glove, which is shocking because the first one that I made, I was in the car, a passenger, when I was um, when I was making the first one and the second one. But when I was making the first one, I was like, oh, this is going to be perfect. It's going to fit her just fine. And then as I was going along, I was like, um, she's three, not six. And then I tried it on when we stopped, like, because we were driving to North Carolina, and I tried it on her when I stopped, and I was like, oh, goodness, it is way too big. So I had to frog the whole thing, and then I redid it, made this one. It fits her like a glove, so yay. <laughs> um, but I literally did the exact same thing as this sweater, just tinier. And I, I just love that about crochet, that we can have, like, matching sweaters now. Isn't that so cute? But yeah, if you are having a special little friend in your life, you can make them a little sweater. I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to like run through after we make this one, I'm going to run through how to make the other two because it's really easy, really simple to understand. And with this tutorial, it's actually really beginner friendly. So if you're a beginner and you know just some like basic stitches, I used a treble crochet for the entire thing for all three of them. Um, but if you want to use double crochet, you know, that's totally up to you if that's more like beginner friendly. But now that we are in sweater season, I mean, it's technically like in the late 70s still here, but it's going to be cold soon. So prepare by making your sweaters. And now that it's sweater season, I have this tutorial for you and I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys make your own sweaters because y'all are going to look so cute in this. So we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how to make this one and then I'll explain the other ones. So let's get into it. This sweater was the first one I made to kind of figure out how to make this. And now I'm gonna make another one. This one I have only three colors, but this one I think I'm gonna do four in this green, cream, purple, green, blue, and then this fuzzy blue color that I used for this one. I think it's gonna be really cute. Um, we're gonna be doing it in treble crochets. You could do it in double crochets if you wanted, but I just like the look of treble crochets. So that's the stitch that I'm gonna be using for the entire project. I also have my six and a half millimeter hook that I'm gonna be using and my scissors and you'll also need a tapestry needle. One of the best things about fall is the sweaters and the possibilities of being able to crochet your own. I have just unlocked a whole new world. Now I am going to make a chain of 70. So there is my chain of 70 and what you're going to want to do now is take your chain of how many ever you however many you chained and make it a circle like this and then you're going to want to put it over your head and just size it up and kind of see if that this is the neckline um, which is the top of the sweater right here so you're going to see if if it's loose enough if it fits nicely over your head if it's enough of like a um, if you want like a tighter neck, you can obviously um, do fewer chains, but I kind of want to have a looser neck um, line. So I'm going to actually chain maybe like five to 10 more. I went ahead and chained 80 and that is definitely dependent upon your personal preference, however many you chain. But once you get to the specific amount that you want and you're good with it and you're happy with it, go ahead and make sure that this 
chain links that you made is all flat. Like laying flat and not twisted like that. You want it to be all nicely laying flat. So mine is laying nice and flat and now that it is, I am going to just slip stitch into the first chain of the entire row. So chain the chain one. So I'm just slip stitching into that. And then I have my neck. After our slip stitch, we are going to chain three. So one, two, three. And then we are going to work one treble crochet in every single stitch all the way around the neckline. So find the next stitch. So just put one treble crochet or double crochet or whatever stitch you're using into every stitch all the way around. And a treble crochet is just a nice tall stitch and that's why I like it. Um, and how you do it, if you don't know, you just yarn over twice. So you have three loops on the hook. You insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. So you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's a treble crochet. I'll do a couple more, nice and slow for you. So now I'm just going to continue with this same pattern by putting one treble crochet and every stitch all the way around till I reach the other side. Now I reached the final stitch of the row and I'm just going to slip stitch in the top of the chain three that we made here. Now we're just going to lay down our first row of stitches here and you'll want to make sure that this is folded in half nice and evenly. I think mine's fairly even. So now I have my row of stitches here and I just have it laying nice and flat so it's nice and even on both sides. You can bring out a measuring tape if you want to be perfectly accurate but I am just going to eyeball it. And what I'm going to do, I have my four bobby pins, or if you have stitch markers, you can of course use those. I just lose mine all the time and I have no idea where they are. So I'm just using bobby pins for now. Um, but I'm just going to count out six stitches on either side going in this way and this way. So I'm counting on both sides. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six right here. So I'm just going to mark that one. And then I'm going to count it on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right here. There you go, as you can see there, lined up. So I just did six stitches on either side. And then I'm going to do that on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I have my stitches marked and I'm going to go back to my work here. Now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, turn your work. Don't forget to turn your work, otherwise your seam will be very crooked. And then you do your treble crochets in the top of the previous treble crochets. Just like we did with the previous row, just do one treble crochet in every stitch until you reach the stitch markers. So just keep going and I will show you what to do once you reach the stitch marker. Now we've reached our first stitch marker, so I'm going to just remove it. And then we're going to put one treble crochet like normal into it. Then we're going to chain one. 
and put another treble crochet into that same stitch. So that's what it looks like. We're working on increasing right here. So what I did was one treble crochet, chain one, one treble crochet, all in the same stitch that the stitch marker is into. So now I'm just going to move on to this next stitch. And now I'm just doing the same thing that I've been doing in the normal stitches, and that is just putting one treble crochet in every stitch until I reach the stitch marker. So here we are at the next stitch marker, so I'm just removing it. And I'm going to put one treble crochet, chain one, and another treble crochet right in the same stitch. And then I'm going to keep going until I reach the next stitch marker. So I'm just removing that and I'm going to put one treble crochet, chain one, one treble crochet. And now I'm just continuing again with one treble crochet in every stitch until I reach my next stitch marker. There she is. So by now I'm sure you know what to do. Triple crochet, chain one, treble crochet, all in the same stitch. And now I'm just going to continue treble crocheting in every stitch until I reach the back seam. I just finished my last um, treble crochet of this row. So now I'm going to cut my yarn and then I'm going to bring in my next color. So now I'm just going to insert my hook into the top of the chain three space. Then I'm going to drape over my new yarn and slip stitch in the new yarn with the old yarn. And then I'm just going to tie it off back here. I'm just gonna tie these two loops together. Okay, so now I slip stitch that in and I'm going to chain one, two, three, turn my work and continue with this pattern of putting one treble crochet in every stitch until I reach the increased spots. My first increased spot is coming up so as you can see i have a treble crochet here from when i made this increase in the one stitch so i'm going to treble crochet in the top of this one here and then i'm going to do my next increase right in this chain one space see how it has a v here i'm going to do my increasing now in this space so do my treble crochet my chain one and my treble crochet all in that chain one space. And now I'm just going to move on to the next treble crochet, just like that. Sorry the lighting is changing so much. It's a partly cloudy day today and the sun is not cooperating with me. <laughs> um, but it's okay, we will make it work. So we've made it over to our next increase stitch. So now of course I'm just putting one treble crochet in the top here of this first treble crochet. And now we've reached the chain one space so I'm going to put one treble crochet, chain one, one treble crochet, all in that same space. And then I'm gonna continue on with this treble crochet and put another treble crochet on top. Now I've reached my third. I already did my treble crochet right here. And now I'm gonna do my increase in the chain one space. Because from now on we're just doing our increases in the chain one space which is one treble crochet chain one one treble crochet and then continuing on by putting 
one treble crochet in the top of every stitch until you reach your next stitch marker. I took my stitch markers out because I can kind of tell um, when it's coming up just because it looks you know different than all the other stitches that I'm working through um, but if you feel more comfortable putting your stitch marker in so you don't miss it accidentally then I would definitely recommend that because I kept mine in for like the first one that I made but now I kind of have the hang of it that I'm like I don't really need it that is definitely up to you okay so we've reached our next one and now I just did my increase in this chain one space, my treble crochet, chain one, treble crochet, then moving on. I've reached the last stitch of my row. So now I'm just doing my last treble crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three, chain one, two, three, turn my work. And now I'm just going to continue what we have been doing by putting one treble crochet into every stitch all the way around. And then once you reach your increase space, here is my increase space. And once you get here, you're going to put one treble crochet right in the stitch here. And then now in this space is our increase space. So you're going to put one treble crochet, chain one, one treble crochet into this space. And then you're going to continue by putting one treble crochet in the next stitch all the way around until you reach your next increase and your next and your next. And then once you reach the end, you slip stitch chain three and don't forget to turn your work so your seam is nice and straight so I'm just going to do this one and then two more rows two rows of this color and two rows of this color and then I'm gonna stop and show you guys where I am at I'm gonna go ahead and do eight rows of this just the same thing that we've been doing one treble crochet you know the increase here and then after we're done with row eight we'll meet back up and I'll show you what to do next I actually ended up not liking the cream with it, so now I'm just having to remove two whole rows. It's kind of sad, but I'd rather figure that out now than like when the sweater's over and I'm like, uh, I don't like that cream color in there. So yeah, I'm just getting rid of that currently. And we're back on track. And I'm liking that better already. Okay, so I just completed row eight, and now I'm going to bring in um, the next colored yarn for row nine. Okay, so now I'm just chaining three like normal and turning my work. And then I'm just going to do one treble crochet in every stitch until we reach that increased space. So you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I've reached my increase space. I did the one treble crochet in the top of the first increase in the previous row. And now, instead of increasing in this, um, in this stitch here, what I'm gonna do is something a little bit different. So, as you know, we increase um, four times on the piece. So, basically, you're just going to line those up real fast. But you're going to find the first two increases here the second ones are over here. They're pretty, they're pretty easy to spot. And what we're going to do is we're going to make these sleeves right now. So this is going to be our sleeve. Um, but to connect them, we need to make an amount of chains. And I, for my first one, I did a chain of eight. It's up to you, um, the chain amount that you want to chain. Um, but for the sweater, for the ones with the sleeves, the, the, the variation that I make that's just the short sleeves, I don't chain as much because I want it to be fairly tight on my arm. But when it's a sweater, I kind of like the sleeves to be, um, for my preference, it's definitely, definitely personal preference. I like my sleeves to be quite big and flowy. I chained eight with this one, um, just because I do, um, like I said, like the, um, oversized flowiness. Of the big sleeves but if you don't like that and you just want the sleeve to be fair like tight fitting on your arm just don't chain as much and then try it on 
um, with the amount of chains that you made and see if okay this is a this is a good fit I like this so just it's definitely this part uh, the amount of chains that you make is definitely up to you I think I might do since I made this one bigger than the last one I think I'm gonna make a chain of seven this time I'm just gonna try that out and see if that works for me so what I'm gonna do is I have my treble crochet of course and now I'm going to chain one two three four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I have my chain seven, and then we have our stitch over here, the increased stitch over here. So since I did my double cro uh, treble crochet right in this stitch, I will do my next treble crochet in this stitch here. So instead of slip stitching right here, I'm going to now make a treble crochet with this chain to connect it. So now I have my chain seven, and now I'm going to yarn over twice like I'm making a treble crochet and I'm just going to treble crochet in that adjacent stitch on the other side of the sweater and just make a normal treble crochet to connect the two. So now we have our sleeve and what we're going to do is I work on the body of the sweater before I do the sleeves so I am just going to now turn my work so I can work now going this way so now I'm just going to continue down the line here until I reach the other side of the um, increased stitches and then we can do this side together as well. Okay, so I've reached that next um, first increase of that row, so I'm going to do one treble crochet there just like I did last time and then I'm gonna find the other side which is right over here and then again we're going to chain seven one two three four five six seven and then we are going to yarn over twice and put a treble crochet right in the stitch on the other side. So the same one, the exact same one on the other side. And put a treble crochet. It might be a little awkward with that chain seven hanging around. And then I'm going to finish with my treble crochets going all the way to the beginning and the back seam here. So I'm just going to continue by putting one treble crochet in every stitch just like normal. And we're just doing our last double crochet of the row and then we are slip stitching into the top of the chain three chaining one two three again and turning our work and now i'm kind of just going to show you what we have here so far this is what we have so far and since this is the sweater that's why I have this baggy chain seven but if this wasn't in this this was just going to be the top design that I um, that I have I would make this chain seven much smaller and I would also make my initial set of chains smaller because I want for my personal preference I would rather the top to be tighter so that's what I did with my top design I made uh, a smaller amount of chains at the beginning and also a smaller amount of chains here and then what I did was I for the top I kept working down on the body and I left the sleeves this length because they're like a cute little short sleeve length um, so I just kept working down with the body to make the top and I left the sleeves but now of course for the um, sweater we're going to make the sleeves and then for just the crocheted sleeves I'll show a picture of them on screen what I did was I stopped with the body and then I just kept going with the sleeves. Um, so basically you get three patterns in one with this pattern and I think that's really fun. I also have a couple other variations but I'm planning on making a part two. So if you want to see a part two, let me know um, on how you can make some dresses. I have like a dress idea with like this style and then like a meshy dress. I'll show more about the other um, alternative styles once we get there. I just kind of wanted to stop at this point and just kind of explain um, what I'm doing now. Right now 
now we have the sweater pattern and what I'm gonna do is work now more on the body part of the sweater and then I'm going to after the body's finished I'm going to work on the sleeves but we'll go through a couple rows of the body together and then I'll finish up the body and then we'll come back to finish up the sleeves together and then what I'm doing is just the same thing um, one treble crochet in every stitch until I reach that chain seven and then we'll talk about um, what we do then now we've reached that chain seven now we have one the connecting treble crochet to put one treble crochet in and now as you can see our chain seven is right here and what we're going to do is put one treble crochet in every chain we have our first chain here so we're going to put one treble crochet into it and then our next chain we're going to put another treble crochet and then we're going to put another one in the next and in the next just going all the way down in every single chain put one treble crochet so now as you can see we have one treble crochet in every single chain so now that is connecting the body portion so now we will just continue on with our next treble crochet here putting one treble crochet on top of the previous row and then we're just continuing on like normal until we reach the other side, um, the other sleeves chain seven or whatever chain amount that you chose. Now we've reached the other side sleeve and I'm just putting one treble crochet in that final one. And then again, same thing as the other side, we're going to put one treble crochet in every um, stitch, in every chain of this uh, chain amount that you have here okay so we have our seven treble crochets all into that chain seven and now as you can see we have another treble crochet to go into and then continue on just like usual with one treble crochet in every stitch and now the part for the body the awkward part um, that is the uh, chains part like going into that part all of that trickiness is over and for the body now I just do the same exact pattern we'll go through um, one row together just to just so I can explain kind of uh, what the plan is for the rest of the body um, but I'm just going to finish out this row here and then we can talk about what to do for the next and the future rows. So now I'm just going to slip stitch in my next color. And now I am chaining three, turning my work. And now this is the simple part. You just put one treble crochet in every single stitch all the way around the body of the sweater. Another thing to also consider is that one, when you chain more for the sleeve here, you're also adding width to the body. And I'm good with that because I like my sweaters to be oversized, but that's just another thing to consider because it just adds, you know, of course, width to the sleeve but also to the body as well. So I just slip stitched into the top of the chain three and then I'm chaining three again, turning my work. And then I'm going to repeat that same pattern of putting one treble crochet in every stitch. And then once you reach the chain three on this side, you slip stitch into the top of it, chain three again, and then turn your work. And that is what you do for however long or short you want your sweater to be. 
So I'm just going to continue doing that until I have the length that I want for the body. And then we will meet back up again and do the sleeves together. I'm probably going to do one of the sleeves um, after I finish the body and then we can do the other one together. Um, but yeah, just keep going with this one treble crochet um, pattern, um, nothing different. And just continue going with that until you are happy with the way it looks. Go ahead and try it on. Make sure that you're happy with it. Make sure that you love it and that it fits nicely. And then once you're done, um, I can show you how we finish it off once you're done, once we're both done with the length that we want. Okay, so I did my last row of my the body of my sweater, and now I'm just going to slip stitch like normal. Chain one, pull out the yarn, pull it to tighten, and then that is the end of the body. And now I'm going to work on one of the sleeves, and then we're gonna work on the rest of the, the other sleeve um, together. As you can see, I finished the first sleeve, and now I'll show you how I did it. So for me, for my personal preference, I like the seams to all be in the back, or you can put the seam right under here and connect the yarn like right around here so you can barely even notice the seam. Um, I just connected it here because you kind of can't really see it anyway um, too badly. Like you kind of, you kind of can't really tell too much. It's fairly, uh, fairly seamless, but I am going to connect my yarn in the same spot as the last time because I want to make sure that it is um, cohesive with the other sleeve. So I joined right here last time. So I'm going to join there again. I've attached my yarn in the same spot as before, just tied it right here in the same stitch. Then I'm just going to insert my hook into the stitch, pull up a loop and chain one, two, three. And now, as you can see, there aren't really any, like, on, on some of these stitches, there aren't, like, set stitches to go into. Um, so it kind of gets a little bit tricky. But as you can see, this is a treble crochet. And what I do is I just put one, two, three stitches into it. And just going around here, as you can see, I have a spot to go right here and here. And then also we have another treble crochet that we run into, and I just put three stitches into it um, in the in the obvious spots that I can see. If you can only like see like two spots that you can go into, that's totally fine. Just as long as there aren't like major gaps and it's relatively even like the rest of the piece. Um, but I can show you how I do that. Um, I'll show you what I did with this sleeve here um, on that spot. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Going into the treble crochet, I put I think actually two here and it looks really good um it doesn't really it doesn't look like you could notice it you know from far away you can't really tell and the same on this side i think i actually added three on this side so yeah if you just look at it and see okay the three works the two works that's definitely something that you can eyeball yourself and see if it looks good i'm thinking i'm going to try maybe for three here i'm not quite sure let's just see how it looks so for the sleeve the first row is kind of just the one that is the trickiest ish i mean not really it's just the one that you kind of have to like work with these like treble crochets you know just a hair um, but other than that, I mean, it's just relatively easy all the way around. Yeah, I think I just put like two in there. Yeah, so it's basically you just, all the way around the first row, you put one treble crochet in every available stitch all the way around. And then the next rows and the rows afterwards are just much simpler because you just put one treble crochet in the top of every stitch um, like you have been doing for the body and then you just connect it you know we'll go through a couple of the rows together um, but basically I'm just putting one treble crochet in all of these available stitches so you can see here I kind of just put them randomly wherever I could 
just so there are no awkward spaces. And now we reached our other treble crochet, so I'm just sticking my hook in. So I can get one of those stitches. There we go. I just inserted two and then one like right before. Um, so I just did my best just to make sure that it's nice and even and that there aren't any like major gaps or anything. Um, so you can just eyeball that, make sure you don't have too many stitches because you don't want it to be like too bulky, but you also don't want it to be having too many awkward spaces. So you just eyeball it and put the stitches wherever they look the best on your sweater. So now the rest of the way around for me is just putting one treble crochet in every stitch until I reach the chain three over there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and put one treble crochet in every stitch and then I'll show you what to do. And we'll do a couple more rows um, together. I've reached the final stitch of the row and now you guys probably know what I'm gonna do. I am going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three like we always do. Chain one, two, three, and turn our work. And now every single row going forward um, is going to be the same until you reach the length of the sleeve that you want. So basically you just put one treble crochet in every stitch all the way around. And when you reach the chain three, you slip stitch into the top of the chain three, then you chain three again, turn your work and repeat the same exact thing. Now I'm just slip stitching in my next color. Chain one, two, three. Turn our work. And then you just keep repeating that until you reach the length of the sleeve that you want. I have fairly long arms, so it takes me a bit to finish, um, but I can usually get it done in a little over an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my sleeve and then we'll meet back up and talk about what we are going to do next. the sleeve and now basically just to finish it off it's the same as you did with the body you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three then you're going to chain one and then we're going to cut our yarn pull out the yarn give it a little tug and there is the second sleeve completely finished now that we have the sweater pattern figured out let's talk about the sweater top for this one, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows before I decided to do the seventh row and then my chain. And I did this because I wanted this one to be slightly tighter in the sleeve area, which is why I only chained five as well. It's definitely up to you, but why I chained more with the sweater was because I wanted the sweater to be very loose, oversized, um, very baggy on my arms. But this one I wanted to have like a tighter sleeve. So honestly, I could have done the body, you know, maybe six rows. But I can definitely, you know, I'm going to try this one again just to tweak it for my size. And you can absolutely do that too. Tweak it for whatever size that you want. So just try it on. Um, 
with the rows of seven and see like pinch it by your by your under your armpits and be like okay i think this is gonna fit me very well so then you just chain however many you like and then you should be good to go so this one is relatively the same you just don't add the sleeves after you're done with the body so you can of course do however many rows that you want for the body but yeah it's the same thing as the sweater just don't add the sleeves just skip that step and then you have a cute little short sleeve sweater top now for the sleeves, it's the opposite. You just don't crochet the body. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did eight rows, so I basically did the same thing as this sweater. And what I did instead of continuing with the body, so I did the chain, the chain of the same chain amount that I did for this sweater. I did that same chain amount. And then instead of continuing with the body, I just stopped on the body and then I went with the sleeves instead. So that is it. That's how you do it for all three of these patterns just to make three different variations. And again, if you want to see a dress style um, with this same exact pattern, let me know and I can make a part two with this same exact style because it's really simple once you get it. I hope you guys love this. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos coming. Thank you guys so much for all the love. I hope you have the most amazing day and I'll see you for the next one. Bye!